Hey guys, welcome back to Knife Mania. I'm going to turn that down. Uh, just got a delivery, and I also went down to the mailbox in the pouring rain. I'm doing this so early because actually here in about an hour, I got to lay down and actually try to take a nap. I got to be back into work tonight at 10 o'clock tonight, and I don't know when I'm going to be off. It's a gas line, so... Uh, anyway... <sighs> Hopefully this is what I think it is. If it is, I've been waiting on it for a very long time. So, whoops, pull out the old super freak. By the way, I think this is only my second true unboxing. Second or third? Second, because the other one... Wasn't a true unboxing because they messed up. Yeah. Which is a good thing I did that way, by the way. That's on the Healy. But anyway, alright. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> More stickers to go on the lunch bail. Gotta love stickers. Okay, and I, this is my receipt, order number. I wonder if it'll have the date on it when I actually ordered it. It should. Uh, I want to say it was the 10th or 12th of this month. And it was supposed to be here in like three days, but of course, Detroit Postal Service, they're, they're the hub. I understand they're behind, but come on, guys. Oh, yes, it is definitely what I thought it was. So. Show you how it came. <laughs> Bark River. Oh. I thought I ordered the treated cheese. It is. It should be on your receipt. Because that's not the treated sheath. Look on your receipt. No. Apparently not. Oh, you didn't click on I, it. I'm, I, that's my fault. It's not even on the receipt, so... It's the right knife, so... Yeah, I must not have ordered the uh, treated sheath. Dang it. Oh, well. It'll give you something to do when you're bored one night. <laughs> you kidding there. These sheaths, they come and they're just, they are incredibly tough leather. So I learned at one point, get the treated leather, which, where's your knife at? Hold on, I'm gonna go grab the missus. Yeah, it's on the table. I see it. It's actually a different style sheath, even. Yeah, it is. But anyway, this is what the tree sheaths look like. You know, they're nice, they're soft. This one, not so much. Oh, that's going to be a pain to break in. Why did I do that? I could have sworn I hit the button. But apparently I didn't because it's not even on the thing. And of course your card, because now Bark River for lifetime guarantees their their knives. So I guess if I had any real issues I could contact them live on Facebook. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. It's because I went with the fancy handle and pins on this one. And I didn't have the money for that one. If I went with the regular one, I would have. Nice. And of course, red, red uh, lined. Anyone guess what it is yet? Oh. It is the Aurora 
and it's candy grain. Actually, I think that's Scandy Vex. That's a Scandy Vex grain, which is awesome. It means I don't have to do it. <laughs> now. Yeah, because I think you were talking about doing that. Yeah, I was. This one's the missus. This one's mine. But mine, I prefer. When I'm in the field, and I'll probably use my knife a lot more for the bushcraft type of deal, the whole nine yards. Hence why I went with the Scandi, and it's also why I went with the uh, A2 steel. I just really like... Hi, baby girl. I really like A2 steel, CPM 3V steel, or um, another carbon steel like 1095 or... Uh, 5160 for my field knives. I just, they're easier to sharpen, they're easier to yeah. fix if anything were to go wrong. But there it is, finally. You notice big old lanyard hole, which is nice compared to the misses. But I mean, the handles are identical in, sh in shape, obviously, not color. <laughs> Uh, spine thickness. Sweetheart, mine's a little thicker than yours. Is it? Yeah, just barely. I mean, I, I would... Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> I would literally need, like, a micrometer to tell the difference. But hers is like a godly knife. It's out of crew wear. Mine's out of A2. But... What are you gonna what are you gonna do, you know? I mean, again I like A2 when I'm out in the field because it's easier to sharpen and the whole nine yards. Put hers over here. I think they sent me the wrong style sheath. This might fit my CX. I don't think this will fit this one. Big, or is it made to be ambidextrous? Well, yeah, this one's probably the ambi, but I mean, I, I gotta soak this leather, I gotta form it after I form it and soak it and all that good stuff, then I have to retreat it, uh, treat it. But now, of course, out of the box. Let's see how sharp it is. Take my little receipt here. Take this one instead. What's that from? From my package. Oh, from your package? Mm -hmm. Right out of the package. Not sharp enough to do that, but <laughs> oh, you guys can't see. All right, I am gonna have to cut this one up. Yeah, it was way too low. Oops. Oh. Snag. So it is quite sharp. <laughs> I love doing that. I don't know why. There's something really nice about it. But it's still covered in grease. Do the thumbnail test. Oh. Oh. I think it just needs a, a strap in. There's like little burrs on it. So. Or something but I love those pins I wonder if I can get this to focus on it really 
Yeah, there we go. Now you guys can see that. <laughs> Those are some cool pins. So, there you go. The Bark River Aurora. It's not the number two. It's not the number three. It's regular Aurora. Same thing as the Misses. With, uh, it said Scandinavian, but that is definitely a Scandi Vex, which is, like I said, awesome. That way I don't have to do it myself. Uh, full Tang A2. Nice mos mosaic uh, pins. Big old lanyard hole. And like I said, I think the sheath was my fault. What do I do with the sheath? Okay. There it is. The sheath was my fault. I said I would never order an. Oh, hey, it's got the magnet in it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so that's a oh, plus. So, yeah. And there goes Spaz. Got a bearded dragon. <laughs> so hopefully here soon, be able to take this bad boy out. And with this, I can teach her how to use hers and go from there. But one of my dream knives, right there, guys. Uh, I would think hers with the full convex be better for food prep, taking care of game that kind of deal mine is definitely more the bushcraft but uh, I would have no problem cleaning game with this you just choke up cover that needle point and use the knife this way as you're going through the hide but that might be for another video somewhere down the line <laughs> are you giving mama a hard time even though she's going through mail right behind the camera making all kinds of noise. Sorry guys. Alright guys, anyway, I'm going to have me a beer and then I'm going to go lay down because i got to be up in a few hours to go back into work even though I was already there once today. And uh, oh well, let's check that. No rattle. Not coming out. It's still not coming out so even though it's not treated it's not formed a hundred percent I can take care of that myself maybe that'll be a good video for me to show you guys but uh yeah uh, all right another unboxing so until next time guys Whoops. keep your knife sharp keep your fingers out of the way catch you later Bye.